Hello yeah there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'll be unboxing this Intel Nook. This is the i3 model. You can get an i5, you can get ones with iris graphics, you can get ones that are lower end as well. Unbox it and have a look what we get inside. So what do we get inside? We get the little Nook itself and look how small that is. It's tiny. On the front we have USB 3, another USB here, we have microphone and headphones in and out, we have some sort of sensor there, so I guess that's a remote or something like that. SD card slot on the side, Kingsington lock, two USB 3s here, we have display port out, HDMI out, a gigabit ethernet jack and there's a vent there and that's where the power goes there. A little bit of advertising there, that's advertising Intel SSD 535 series M.2 SSDs I guess. You get your instruction manuals, more advertising about Intel SSDs, you get a Intel Core i3 sticker there and whatever processor you get, that's the kind of sticker you'll get and what else we got? Some more instructions and some screws. The plate to mount it, I guess, and the power supply. So obviously the power supply is external. There's no power supply inside there. So there you have it. That's the i3 Intel Nook. I will actually be putting the parts from my XPS 15 in there. The parts I took out when I upgraded my XPS 15, I'll be using those parts in here. So I'll be putting a 256 gigabyte M.2 SSD in there and I'll be putting 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Now this has a Skylight processor in it, so it's the sixth generation. It's got Intel HD graphics, so it should be able to casually game no problems. Cost about $300 US, about 400 Australian, 200 pounds, something like that. It's a cool little device. So the review will be coming up soon. I've just received Dell's new Inspiron 5000 Series 2-in-1, so I'll be reviewing that soon. So make sure you subscribe. I've got a lot more stuff coming soon that's going to be coming out thick and fast. So subscribe to see all that. I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. It would really help me out if you gave me a thumbs up there. And if you've got any questions about this, let me know down there in the comments. And until next time, guys, tally-ho.